So what are the properties of a wave? Well, let's first of all, let's draw a wave and then we'll label it. So there's a wave. Let's go ahead and label the certain parts. So the top of the wave, the top of the ice of the oscillation, we call the crest or the peak. The lowest part we call the trough. Now, one whole wave is from one point on a wave all the way through to the same point on the next wave. So that's one whole wave. It could be from any point. We could say from this point here to this point here is one wave. But it could really be anywhere. Uh, a helpful way to do it is say from peak to peak. And so that distance we can measure and that distance is actually called wavelength. So the length of one wave is called wavelength. And that's got the symbol, the Greek symbol, lambda. And that is measured in meters. So meters, it could be millimeters, it could be nanometers if it's that small. So the wavelength can be defined as the distance between one point on a wave and the same point on the next wave. Or you could say it's the distance from peak to peak or trough to trough, etc. Okay, now the next thing is the amplitude. The amplitude is the height of the wave and it's related to the amount of energy in the wave. You imagine if the energy, the, the wave has got lots and lots of energy, it's going to have a much higher amplitude. Now, so amplitude is, this is really important here because a lot of people make this mistake. Amplitude is from the midpoint to the peak or the midpoint to the trough but it is not from peak to trough. So here's the amplitude here. From the peak to the midpoint. And that's called amplitude. And when you think, if we're talking about sound, you know, we think about volume. And the louder a sound is, the more energy, the louder it is, the larger, the higher the volume, and the higher the amplitude. There's another measure here that's hardest for us to draw, and that's called frequency. Frequency is defined as the number of waves past a given point per second. So if we have a look here and say, this wave, all of these waves past this point in one second, let's see what the frequency is. That's one wave, that's two waves, and that's two and a half waves. So two and a half waves in one second, that means it's got a frequency of 2.5. The unit of measure for frequency is hertz. Hertz. And it's a measure of the number of waves per second. Just interestingly, the sounds that we hear, we can hear sounds, or young people can hear sounds up to 20,000 hertz. That's 20,000 oscillations or 20,000 waves per second. The other thing we've got though, of course, is the velocity or the speed of the wave. So sound is a wave. And sound travels at, um, well, the speed of sound varies depending on the medium. Now what I'm gonna show you soon is that there's actually a relationship between velocity wavelength and frequency but I'm going to show you that um, in another time. So the last thing I might do is just show you some examples of waves with different properties. So let's have a look at a wave here with uh, high frequency. So there's a relationship between frequency and wavelength. So if you increase the frequency you actually decrease the wavelength. So the op if we do something that's different to that, so we'll do one that's got a long wavelength, you'll see that it's actually got a low frequency. So high wavelength, low frequency. So they're inversely proportional. Um, and then of course we can have a look at 
a wave that has got a high amplitude versus one that's got a low amplitude. So this is a high amplitude wave and this is a low amplitude wave. 